these two giant stone statues, one with the face of comedy, one with the face of drama, guard the entrance to one of the most difficult to enter abandoned places in Mexico City. It's called Cine Opera and it was built in 1949 and for a long time it was the most famous cinema in Mexico City. Until 85, when that earthquake we've talked about before damaged one of the main screens and a lot of the city. After that, it was used as a concert venue until 1998 when the gothic rock band Bauhaus came. Something crazy happened on stage and they had to close the entire theater down. One of the most beautiful locations in Mexico City. For 20 years, it's been rotting. It is a beautiful location and I've tried a couple times to get inside and I couldn't until I found a friend who got us access tonight. I'm so excited to take you guys inside. Cine Opera. Honestly, man, I'm used to standing over on that side of the street looking towards these bars and I never thought I would get on the other side because I've asked twice, two or three different people and they said it's not possible. But I met this guy, these guys today, La Carapixia. La Carapixia, hola, como están? They do abandoned places here in Mexico City. Uh, we were talking online and I can't believe we made it happen. Like in one day, we're inside Cine Opera. This was built to be absolutely glorious and it's a shame it, it was closed. A lot of people in Mexico City are very upset it closed. But if you look at the detail on the doors, on the floor and the ceilings, it is, it is beautiful. And it's a shame that it's closed. This is the original entrance. These doors are beautiful. It's a fountain in the middle and they are locked. So to even get inside, to get inside the actual theater itself, there is a giant fence, there's 24 hour security, and the main doors are padlocked. It's supposed to be breathtaking inside. So we just walk from the main atrium down here, that's the entrance, where it's barred off, and here, there are more stairs. One set, there's another set in there. Three sets, and a couple more over this direction. I'm hoping to get into the main chamber. Oh, look at this. No. Ah, Jesus Christ. We, we were Not funny, the... not fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful in here, right? Yeah. So many mirrors, man. Do we know where these stairs go? To the, the, main, the main part. The main stage. Oh wow. Oh my god. It's huge. So it looks like they've cleaned it a lot, right? You see a lot of photos of like the old chandelier and all the old, all the old chairs, but I think the photos are a few years old. It must be because all the chairs have been cleaned out. And there was a giant chandelier that was smashed. I'm at the back row of the whole theater right now. Let's see how big it is. Gigante. Oh, it's right there. We're going to try to find a way down to the bottom to see the chandelier. There should be a way down. So these are the chandeliers. Pigeon feathers everywhere. It's just the, the roof's open. You can see it. You can see the stars outside. I always love abandoned places because for 40 years, hundreds of thousands of people came here. And now it's just crap. So these are the offices. Not much left. Concrete walls. All the old fuse boxes. But 
So this super strange. It looks like a it was burned into the wall. Still two more floors to the top. And look at how we are right now. It's a long way down to the bottom. Is this the roof? Oh, it's a uh, give me that way. No, man. Oh my god. Look at the view from the roof. This building is in the middle of downtown Mexico City and I can't believe that it was closed over an altercation, so maybe a fight? On stage? What could a band do to close down an entire theater forever? I can't imagine. Bauhaus was the name of the band that closed it down. It's supposed to be the very first gothic rock band in the world. They're an English band, but I can't imagine what anybody could do to close down a building this beautiful. It's crazy. Dude, it's the, uh, the projectors are here. Look. The old cinema projectors. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, damn. Cool. So these are the old projectors that back before 1985 used to show movies on the giant screen down there, but like I said, there was a giant earthquake in 1985. I made a video about Insurgentes 300, one of the biggest condominiums, also heavily damaged in that earthquake. It killed thousands of people in the city and also damaged the main screen here in Cine Opera. And after the screen took damage, they converted this place into a music venue. So I don't think these were used after the earthquake in 85. If you look though, here's the projector. And down through this window, it's where we just were, where the chandelier is, and where the main stage is. And look at this. These are the letters from outside. This is the O, this is the P, and behind it is Mexico City. There it is. And now we're back outside because we had to leave. Anyway, uh, this is Catapixia, and I, like I said three or four times now, super stoked we were able to get inside Cine Opera. It is notoriously difficult to get into, but we made it happen. It was a nighttime voyage, and it was beautiful inside. They've cleaned out a lot of the seats, a lot of the decorations, which is something I didn't expect, but they are remodeling it into a, like an office cultural center. Yeah, I think so. Which is good, because it's a beautiful building, and it's in the best part of town, so it deserves to have some kind of feature or be opened again. So, his video, these guys' video, is going to be out at the same time as this one, so check out their channel. Impressions below. We had this little thing where we were messaging back and forth because we had seen each other's videos about like Acropolis yeah. and other abandoned places in Mexico City, so these guys do the same thing. Check out their channel. It is below, like I said. Experience over possessions. Kick the grind. Check you guys next Wednesday. Peace. <laughs>